Ice anglers have long embraced soft plastics when targeting bluegill, crappie, and perch. On the forefront of winter walleye angling, more anglers are discovering effective tipping options that catch walleye through the ice. Just as soft plastics have revolutionized other segments of angling, we suspect that winter walleye anglers will find many applications for soft plastics as these techniques become more mainstream. Soft plastics won't necessarily replace live bait, but they will give anglers an effective option that will catch fish in many situations. Today's show brings us the expanse of Devil's Lake, located in central North Dakota, where we show just how effective soft plastics like Impulse can be for catching walleye through the ice. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Isn't that cool? Oh. Look at how fat he is. Oh, yeah. We'll show this fish off, but isn't that just a, just a tank of a walleye? I'm going to get him unhooked here quick. Sure. What we're using here. Snow up. Yeah. There we go. There. It's like a plastic. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> plastic red golf ball. Wow. We're just. Yeah. That's a. That's oh, a is dandy. That a nice Isn't that fish. cool? I never get tired of that. You know, we're in six feet of water here. Oh, come on. Get in the hole. There you go. Six feet of water here. And basically, what we're doing is we're just fishing a little knob. There's 10, 12 feet out, out behind us here, deeper water, just a little bit of a crest. And I'll tell you what, on big natural lakes especially, there's always some fish that stay shallow. You know, where it's middle of January, up until the last three days, it's been 40, 50 below zero for a couple of weeks. And despite that, these fish are shallow. And people often think that the fish move deeper, and granted, some of them do, but on big natural lakes, there's this per there's a certain percentage of these fish that stay shallow and that's one of my favorite patterns. But what we're doing here is we're just jigging these spoons really aggressively in this shallow water and they're just cruising through and tipped here. I just have an impulse perch eye and perch eyes are one of my favorite lures here in the Dakotas where they're legal but just a little bit of action, just something to bounce below that spoon and the beauty of it is that it doesn't come off and I work these spoons really aggressively. I'm I'm knocking that spoon almost like if I was hammering a nail, okay? And when you work a spoon that aggressively, that hard, it's really easy for that minnow to come off, and that's, a, that's what I love about these. Well, that's a good start. Oh yeah, yeah just a nice chunky, nice chunky walleye. Eat my little crawdad. Why don't you show people what you're doing there? Sure. The nice thing is, is I still have my bait, and I can drop right back down there again and catch another one. But what I'm using is a UV buckshot rattle spoon and an impulse crawdad tail instead of a minnow head. Now, what are the advantages of that? Well, because it's a confidence hurdle for a lot of fishermen. Yeah, it really is. I think one of the advantages of it is the lifelike appearance. So, you know, when we're fishing on a lot of these prairie style lakes like Devil's Lake. Some of the ones in Northeast South Dakota, they eat a lot of those freshwater shrimp. Mm -hmm. And a little bait like this mimics those freshwater shrimp, so it's something that the fish eats. The other thing is, is it's really durable. I mean, they can't peck it off, perch can't peck it off. Um, and it seems a lot of times that the walleyes will hit it harder than they will live bait. I tell you what, I'll be honest with you, I had a hard time confidence-wise with it. But uh, once I started using it, Will it outfish live bait all the time? Absolutely not. You know, I, I think that's a that's a silly debate. Yeah. There's a time where live bait works and it works better than anything, but there's some disadvantages using live bait. And one being is the durability. And we're fishing shallow water. We're in about six feet of water. We're fishing on Devil's Lake, North Dakota. And the name of the game is to work these jigging spoons very aggressively. We're just pounding that spoon all the time. And a lot of times when you're using a minnow, you know, you lose your bait. And I think that's the key is that it stays on. And I tell you what, I mean, there's, there's been some fish that ignore it once in a while, but by and large, it's very effective. And it's, I think people would be surprised how well it works. But the hard part is up here is getting past that hurdle. And once you do, it opens up a whole realm of fishing possibilities. What I like to tell folks is, is try it when the fish are biting. You know, your hands get all slimy with minnow heads and, and things like that. So 
you'll try it where you're comfortable like we're in this beautiful hub house today it's comfortable in here uh, when the fish come in when you're on fish is the best time to try something new it's not yeah. when you're not on fish yeah there i got them there we go Tangle there. Boy, look at that. He, he just choked that it. thing, didn't he? <laughs> he did. I think That's we're going to awesome. end up keeping that one. That's dinner. Boy, I can't even see that. You have pliers? Yeah. Got one handy. Yep. <clears throat> I guess if you're going to have a fish eat it like that. Oh, yes, got I got one too. All right. Oh, they're putting that shit out of water. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what, Eric? I got a plan. You know what that plan is? What's the plan? Let's eat walleyes for supper. <laughs> okay. A lot of times when we're on the road, you know, it's just kind of a hassle to keep fish. And uh, we don't keep a lot of fish, surprisingly, but I'll tell you what, fish that size right there, that's about a perfect eater. There you go. He came back and ate them. All right. Nice one. Dinner. That fish is heading to Grease Lake, I'm afraid. That's a <laughs> perfect. Oh, they're strong. Perfect eating fish right there. Need so. Flyers? I think I got him. Okay. You know, we're talking panfish anglers have really embraced soft plastics for ice fishing. You know, the bluegill guys and the crappie guys, and and uh, so for more predator fish, you know, uh, lake trout anglers have been using plastic tubes for years to catch those big lake trout. Uh, you know, and and obviously, open water wise, we're using more soft plastics. But we started developing these spoon tippers, like you're using the perch eye, and and you got a minnow head, and I'm using just a little a little uh, impulse crawfish. Uh, for more of the predator fish, like the walleyes and the pike and even the perch. And that's kind of really on the forefront of what's happening. You know, by and large, you know, most anglers are still tipping with a minnow. Panfish anglers have embraced soft plastics in a big way. And I think what we're going to see is a trend with walleye anglers coming up is that they're going to find more and more applications for tipping spoons, tipping swim lures of soft plastics as well. I think that's going to be a trend that we're going to see a lot more of in the next few years. And it's, it's a convenience factor as well. I mean, you can always have a, you know, a few packages of impulse in your pocket. Here I got him. Uh-oh. Trying to knock yeah. him off. This is a good fish here, Eric. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look at how he ate that spoon. Oh, is that something? If I get a hold of him. My goodness, this fish has got an attitude. Yeah, I can't even see that spoon. I don't know how many fish I've caught on the same perch eye, but I'll tell you what, that fish is bleeding pretty good. Yeah, he's probably about a 18 and a half inch fish. We'll end up keeping this one here, but uh, we haven't got our limit yet. Soft plastics work extremely well below both spoons and swim lures. New options for this season include the impulse perch eye, impulse minnow head, and the impulse crawfish. These soft plastics designs are created specifically to replace traditional minnows or minnow heads. This combination of impulse scent, profile, and color can be deadly for triggering walleyes. The durability of impulse allows you to catch several fish without having to rebait and also allows you to work the lure more aggressively. From our base camp in Devils Lake, North Dakota, we travel the whole Midwest looking for the best fishing bites. We like real-time fish reports, find out what bodies of water that we're fishing just to find the general patterns and techniques that we're using. Give us a like on Facebook and hit the road with Jason Mitchell Outdoors. There we go, there we go. Good fish here. Wow. Wow, look at that, look at that. They hit the bottom of the holes when these, oh, yeah. these big girls want to get off. Oh yeah, look at there, look at there. Nice fish. There, look at how fat oh, and that is stout these things are. I'm just gonna 
fuck this bad boy. But yeah, just a just a gorgeous fish. Gorgeous. But just they just growl at you when you catch them out of the shallow <laughs> water, don't they? They just they, they just have an attitude. Uh, Very cool. Get that fish in the water. I really like to change colors a lot when I'm ice fishing and my spoon colors. And one thing that I found that really helps make that a lot easier is to use one of these little clip, quick clips. So you simply snap it off, get your other color on, take it, snap it right back on again, and you're ready to go back down the hole. The other neat thing about the little clip is, is it's rounded, so it gives your spoon lots of action side to side, back and forth. Uh, it helps you catch more fish. All right. Oh yeah, oh, another nice one. <laughs> nice walleye. If I can get hold of them. <laughs> there we go. Wow. These fish are aggressive and. You set the hook on them. There ain't much water below us, and it doesn't take them long before they're. Better get a pliers here before they're under the ice. So you get them on top of the ice, and they're not quite wore out yet. There. But yeah, just a, a beauty. Yeah. Tell you what, we probably yeah we'll throw that fish back. We've kept kept a few smaller fish to eat. There's some days where I'd sure eat that fish, but. Today is that fish is lucky day. You know, there's so many different strategies that you can use out on the ice. And you know, the thing that you often hear in today's ice fishing scene is mobility, moving around, looking for fish, finding fish. And you know, we preach that a lot too. Obviously you can't catch fish if they're not below you, but you know, there's a time and place for setting camp and hanging tight in an area. You can hear that wind blowing outside. Today's one of those days. It's been brutal cold this winter. And that's been our strategy in a lot of times. It's just been too difficult to move around. So the name of the game is, is pick key spots and to sit tight on them and we'll let the fish come to you. And obviously to be successful with that type of strategy, you have to make sure that you're on the X. You have to make sure that you're on a spot where you're gonna get fish, you're gonna get traffic of fish moving back and forth underneath you. And I compare it to sitting in a deer stand if you're a deer hunter. You know, you gotta be in a place where the deer are walking back and forth and same situation with walleye fishing. A lot of times it's edge orientated, it's contour oriented. You're trying to get on a specific piece of structure that you know is gonna hold fish. And when those fish move through, they're gonna swim underneath you. And I tell you what, if you identify those locations and get set up on those right areas, you can roll up your sleeves and hunker down on an area and do really well without moving around. Jason Mitchell Outdoors is brought to you by Shields, North Dakota Tourism, Clam, Vexilar, Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods, Ice Armor, Northland Tackle, Cooper Chevrolet, Bionic Line, and Salmo. To find out more information on Jason Mitchell Outdoors, make their official webpage one of your favorite pages. Find out upcoming show schedules and airtimes, along with past shows, article and product reviews at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com. Great information on the outdoors is just one click away.